Welcome to the series Writing for Games. In this video, I'm going to introduce a sub-series on narrative design. This video focuses on the question, what is narrative design? To give us an idea of what narrative design is, we have to start with some fundamentals. Often, when we think about stories, we think about more traditional mediums, a novel or a physical book, something we read in sequence. In which case, when we think about that, we think about the story containing characters and events. We often ascribe things like conflict and plot as being part of those stories. However, they're part of another concept called narrative, which is the how, where, and in what order story is experienced by an audience. This comes into question as we consider nonlinear stories. We often think, again, as a book or a novel that we read front to back, in order, page by page by page. But if we consider the possibility of stories being nonlinear or even dynamically arranged, things become a little more complicated. And so it helps to shift our understanding of plot towards narrative perception of story. That is, it is possible in many game contexts for the story to be highly generative. That is, it is arranged by function or algorithm or process, and the characters and the events might not be the same session to session or person to person. When playing the game, they may not see the same things. And so what we consider the story is then a collection of characters and events, and the perception of it, the narrative of it, is the how, where, and in what order people experience it such that it produces the perception of plot. So what is narrative design exactly? It is the arrangement of story and gameplay elements. When we're interested in writing for games, we need to consider in what order, how, and where people experience things. Now, I very purposely mentioned story and gameplay elements. This subseries won't discuss too much gameplay elements and will focus instead on story elements as they intersect with games. So as we're discussing story elements, let's look at a few of these. So if you've been following this larger series, there are already two other subseries on quests and on dialogue. And these are story elements, or if you want to think about it, part of our narrative toolkit. And we'll discuss that as part of later videos. So I've already covered quests, main quests and side quests, as well as dialogue, narration, barks and grunts, interactive and ambient. As part of this new subseries, we'll look at how narrative design intersects with interactivity, spatial and environmental, cutscenes and on demand. For these last four, many of the things I've previously covered, dialogue and quests, can intersect with these. We will sometimes see different forms of dialogue and potentially different quests appear as part of how we consider narrative design through interactivity, spatial environmental, cutscenes, and on demand. Based on how these things are constructed, that is how we arrange story content, characters, and events, we might see these same things. So as the subseries goes on, consider all of the things we discuss as part of a larger toolkit. Again, how we think about narrative design is the how, where, and in what order, and as narrative designers, how are we arranging to achieve certain effects, and we'll discuss that as part of the larger series. At least for this video, though, we're just introducing narrative design, the arrangement of story and gameplay elements. Thanks for watching.